All right, everybody. So take a look at it. I mean, when I said it's got some options on it, it really does. I mean, this is a absolutely gorgeous vehicle. But look at all the stuff that it's got done to it, which is so neat. So the body kit on it, I believe they call it the Grumper body kit. And, uh, you know, the word Grumper, it kind of, I guess it kind of goes along with the look that we're, we got here. I don't know if it's just me, but the word Grumper kind of sounds like Grumpy. And uh, the front end on, the, on it kind of has a mean, aggressive, grumpy kind of look. So anyways, Grumper goes with it quite well. I love the color. You got this bright blue. It's all American. Then you got the black, the Warren Winch right here behind the Grumper grill. Wow, that's neat, isn't it? You know, Warren is a phenomenal company. They've been around so long. And uh, this one says the Zion, Zion 10S. So you got that going on. What a nice setup. It truly is. You know, a lot of, a lot of Jeeps have the Smitty built on there. And, uh, and that's fine. Those are great too. But there's something about that Warren brand that I've heard from other Jeepers out there. And it's, uh, it's pretty incredible. It's good. It's reliable. So anyways, um, this one does have the Nitto Terra Grappler tires. Look at those. Ho, ho, ho. Actually, these are the Ridge Grapplers, 37 by 13 and a half. Again, a lot of Jeep Wranglers on the road are going to have your 35s by 12 and a half or 33s, 12 and a half. This is stepping it up with the 37s. And then you got those good looking fuel wheels, 17 inch. I know some of y'all say, well, why not 18s or why not 20s, which is fine as well. But I personally like the look of the 17 inch rim with the 37 tire. I mean, it kind of gives it a nice big tire on there. So anyways, you got the shocks by Dirt Logic, Fabtech Springs, I mean, the entire Wrangler is decked out completely head to toe. I mean, it's got everything on it that you would probably want on a JKU. Even to the point of the vinyl right here on the back window with the American flag. Kind of has that rugged American flag look to it. So that's kind of neat. Fifth wheel, of course, matches all of them. That's the way you do it. Then you got the swing arm back here. No joke. I mean, that's the... That's a nice swing arm, right? I mean, that's going to hold that heavy rim and tire up, which is really important. Another thing that people like about the four doors is all the space in the back, right? You got all that storage room back there. Then you got this. I mean, they went and bought everything that that company could basically offer for what I'm getting at. I mean, they got it all. This here. They got the all-weather subwoofer right there. You know, the pads look good around the roll bars. I mean, everything is looking nice. I like this. You know, we got the stock, the stock taillights, but you got these on here to protect them. Gas tank right there. Okay. Moving right along. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. So, the exterior's got everything on it that you like. Let me tell you, the interior is dressed up as well. We got cat skins leather interior on the seats, front to back. Look at the seats. You got the stitching that matches up, all right? The blue stitching to go with the exterior, looking really good. Still got the carpet on the floor, very nice. Power windows, power door locks. Also, look up top here, check it out. This is all matching up quite nicely to go with the exterior. Even has a little black right there. You know, the body armor that you see on the doors right there. So it all matches up. I like it. Whoever did it, did it the right way. Even right here. Check that out. That's sweet. Um, the seats, look at it. <laughs> There's the logo again. Legend series. Very nice. Beautiful. Seats are in great shape though. No rips, no tears, nothing like that. Perforated with the holes in them. Let's them breathe and stay cooler. You get the rubber mats up front. All right, now let's talk about this. That's right. That right there. Six speed manual transmission. You got it. It does have the factory CD player. This one doesn't have an in-dash touchscreen or anything. It may be something you want to add in later down the road. 
but it's just got the stock head unit in there. Again, works fine, does what it needs to do. Um, windshield is the stock windshield that came on it. How do I know? Of course, I can see the little Jeep logo at the top there. If you can see what I'm talking about, hang on a minute, right about there. You can see that little Jeep logo in there. That's letting you know that is the factory front windshield on this vehicle. So good stuff. You got the Alpine stereo. Steering wheel's in great shape. Feels good. It's not all worn out. Mileage, extremely low mileage on this JKU, folks. We're talking in that 30,000 mile range. So a lot of nice stuff. These right here protect the vehicle when you're going off-roading and those big old tree branches and stuff like that. They just kind of come up and go off. Headlights, taillights, LED lights, everything works as, it's, as it should. Now, anyways, not a whole lot to see under the hood, okay? Because the under the hood is all stock under there, um, which is fine with me. You know, Jeep did a great job when they put that 3.6 VVT under there. It's a good engine it's got plenty of power even from the factory you can always soup it up if you want to but under the hood on this one it's all stock so you can have some fun with that if you'd like to um, there's no aftermarket intakes uh, no aftermarket exhaust or anything like that so they definitely did a nice job of accessorizing the exterior and the interior so maybe you if you buy it maybe you want to um you know accessorize under the hood a little bit with the motor put an exhaust on it you know do some stuff like that so they leave a little bit there for you now suspension on the vehicle is perfect rides great smooth drives straight on down the road so it's a great jeep folks at southern motor company if you haven't already visit us online at smccharleston.com get an idea of what it is look at the carfax report on it i think you'll be impressed it's a beautiful vehicle and guys and girls, we are here to help you buy your next Jeep Wrangler. Sometimes we got six, seven, eight. At one point, I think we had 10 Jeeps out here. They sell like hotcakes. They go quick, okay? But this one's available. We also got a TJ right off in the background down there. You can see a 70,000 mile 2003 Jeep Wrangler right over there would ah man 70,000 miles on it extremely low mileage on that one we'll show it to you real quick you know nothing wrong with doing a little filming while walking around on this beautiful day this one's pretty nice though it's got a little bit of a lift some different 33 series tires you got a winch on the front by smitty built but again the uh the, the, the this one here what's so nice about it is first off the condition of the jeep is in beautiful shape hard tops in good shape it's clean um, doesn't look like it was ever heavily off-roaded and uh, 70,000 miles on an 03 TJ with the engine that everybody loves the 4.0 liter inline straight six so you got that right there and I think we got two more Wranglers in inventory right now you'll see a silver one out back back there another JKU with a silver hard top and then we do have one more Rubicon with an automatic transmission that's being detailed and cleaned as we speak. So that one is white in color with the black interior. So again, folks, we got some Jeeps out here at SMC. Come on down and see us. I'm Chad. I'm a sales guy here at the store. I'd love to work with you, help you with buying your next Wrangler. We do have trucks as well, folks. We got a little bit of everything. We got luxury cars, classic cars. Again, a little bit of everything at Southern Motor Company. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Visit us online at smccharleston.com. Call me at 843-277-2983. And stop by the store at 4252 Rivers Avenue in North Charleston. Man, we got some beautiful weather. Jeep season is here. You gotta get ready. You gotta buy a Jeep. Ladies, I know you're out there. Y'all probably want a cool Jeep Wrangler. That's the one. Listen, if you don't know how to drive a stick shift, don't stress it. Come on in. I'll help you drive stick. I'll teach you how to drive a stick. We're going to make sure you get what you want. You might want a manual transmission. You feel like you're in control. Push the clutch in, shift the gears, have a little fun in the sun with your JKU Rubicon back there. It's sweet. So anyways, well, fellas, too. I mean, come on. Guys can come in. I'll teach you how to drive stick. 
It don't matter, girl or guy, you need to learn how to drive a manual. We'll get in a parking lot somewhere and figure it out. Or your da dad, you know, whoever. We'll, we'll, we'll help you though, okay? Anyways, we get a little sidetracked, but thanks again. Have a great one, and I'll see you on the next review.